Liverpool second in the table, scoring goals, playing well. Uh, you've come through the ranks there. You're a scouser. You, you must feel in dreamland right now. Yeah, it couldn't have went any better, really. Um, just to be given another chance and get back playing is brilliant for me. And just for the team to be doing so well at the minute, just great as well. It must be great to be playing in a team what are full of confidence at the moment and playing at the speed in which you play as a, as a team. Some of the speed in your side is remarkable. Yeah, not half. Well, when you've got Suarez and Sturridge up top and Sterling as well, um, it doesn't get much better at the minute than that, I think. They're the best in Europe at the minute. And as you can see, we're scoring goals and everything's going well at the minute. Do the players in the dressing room or on the training ground, John, do they actually talk about the, the possibility of winning the title? Is it in the players' minds? Yeah, well, I, I don't think not, nobody really talks about it much, but um, definitely in my mind every night and probably in every other of the players' minds as well. But um, we're just taking every game as it comes and um, hopefully just keep pushing on and getting three points. You talked about goals there. Just go back to the goal scoring. You've scored 73 goals, Liverpool, this season. I mean, the most you've ever scored in the Prem is 77, which was in 2008-2009, which was a decent season for Liverpool, a good season for Liverpool. So, 73 goals tells you you should be up there uh, fighting for the titles. Yes, yes. Well, we know we're going to score goals with our strike force, but um, to score so many goals this year, yeah, we're in with a right chance, I think. Um, we just, as I said, we're just concentrating on every game as it comes next, and Hopefully we can keep pushing on and if we're still in around the towards maybe the last five, six games, we're in with a big shout, yeah. Are you surprised to, to be up there? Because I don't think many people, even Brendan Rodgers was saying, to go from where you were last season, 7th or 8th or whatever, to actually go on and win the title. He felt that that was a step too far and yet here you are, second place behind Chelsea, no distraction from the Champions League and, and some people are really starting to talk seriously about Liverpool. So has it surprised you? Yeah, it probably was, um... At the start of the season, we were all hoping for top four, and now we've done so well up to now. Um, I think we can push on and do even better, but it is a surprise, the progression we've made. But it's all good, and I think everyone's made up with the progression we've made up to now. Just tell us about Luis Suarez, because I see a lot of publicity at the start of the season with the, with the Arsenal bid, 40 million and a quid, but it, it was great for Liverpool, but he stays. But just tell us how good Luis Suarez is, because you see him every single day in training. Yeah, I see him every day in training. Um, he's, he's just he's a top, top player. He, he's, he's one of the best, or probably him and Steve, he's probably the best I've played with, but um, every day in training, and he's just... Hungry for it. He, like when people are on recovery, he wants to do extra. He doesn't want to miss a minute on the pitch. So you just see from from that side, and that he's just brilliant. And hopefully, we can keep him. Really. <laughs> What about you personally, uh, John? I mean, I think there's been some frustration in the past that maybe some youngsters at Liverpool weren't getting a chance and here you've been given that opportunity and, and well, you've certainly seized it with uh, with both hands and made a place in the first team your own. So uh, it must be a relief to you, but how difficult was it in those times when you're coming through and, and thinking it was just too too difficult to break into the first team? Yeah, it was difficult. I got given me a chance by Kenny and... Um... And then maybe I had a bit of different form, and then I was out the side for a while. And then maybe I just thought I weren't going to get the chance again. Um, I thought I'm going to have to go elsewhere, play elsewhere. But um, thankfully, Brendan gave me a chance, and I took that. So uh, hopefully that can continue now. Well, we, we've all been saying now for about four, five, six weeks, but Liverpool, um, it's, a, it's, it's a, you've got an interesting run of fixtures. And the fixtures, what stand out for you, which I believe Liverpool will decide who wins the title, whether it be Liverpool itself or it will be someone else, because you've got Spurs at home, Manchester City at home and Chelsea at home. They're the three games, basically, what decide whether Liverpool win the title, aren't they? Yeah, I think so. They're going to be massive games. I think um, our home form's been... Terrific this year, and <laughs> with them being three big games at home, I think the advantage on our side playing at home, but they're going to be tough games, and hopefully we can come out on top of them. 
In terms of uh, international football, I think uh, I was certainly surprised that there wasn't a call-up. Is it just something that's at the back of your mind or, or were you disappointed not to get the call-up this time around for the, for the under-21s or the seniors? Yeah, I was massively disappointed. Um, to use a bit of speculation, maybe get a call for the senior team, but I, I weren't looking too much into that. I weren't expected or expecting a call or like that, but... To not be involved with the twenty ones was disappointed, but I've just gotta get on with it, just gotta keep my head up and keep working hard. Hopefully maybe get a chance in the future games. Have you had any have you had any contact with the England manager or has he got gone through Brendan Rogers and said if you ca- carry on playing as you are, you've 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 still got an outside chance? No, no, I haven't heard nothing, so I'm just concentrating on my football at Liverpool at the minute, so that's it. Some of the other lads are uh, are involved with the England setup, and and when we're looking ahead, John, to the World Cup, we're all excited about it as football fans. I mean, Raheem Sterling, the form he's in is absolutely phenomenal. He's he's really come to the fore this season. Jordan Henderson has proved a lot of people wrong as well. Would you say that those two, given the form they're showing for Liverpool in the Premier League this season, they have to go to the World Cup, don't they? Yeah, we're out of doubt. I think them two have been the best. Best players in their positions in the league this year, I think. He's been outstanding, and so is Jordan. So, on current form, they both deserve to be in that England squad. And at the minute, they deserve to go to Brazil. And obviously, your captain, Stephen Gerrard, is the England captain as well. As, as an England fan, which I'm sure you are, John, um, as I am, <laughs> do you, yes. you know, a lot of us are kind of reluctant to say that we're going to go and win the World Cup, reluctant to even say we can win the World Cup. Everybody's very measured. Uh, this time around, more so than ever before. So, do you feel that with Stevie leading the way, that there is a possibility, that there is a chance we can do it? Yeah, well, when Stevie's always leading you, you've got a chance, I think. But the quality of the players that England have got, I think they've, they've always got a chance going to the World Cup, they've got to prepare right and that. But I'd say, yeah, with Stevie leading them out and that, I think they possibly have got a chance of winning it. With the confidence of the side at the moment, uh, I mean, at the start of the season, it would have all been about uh, finishing in the top four would be an unbelievable season for Liverpool. But with the form you're in, the goals you're scoring, the, the, the team, the fans are all behind you, you must feel as though you can beat anyone at the moment. Yeah, well, our confidence is high at the minute. We're, in every game, we, we're scoring goals, a lot of them, um, and picking up three points. So, at the minute, our confidence is high, and... You'll take anyone at the minute, yeah? Um, well, listen, John, it's been great to talk to you. Well done this season. I hope mm. it continues as well. Appreciate you coming on. Thanks a lot, mate. Thanks, John. No problem. Thank you. You two scouts are always yapping. Oh. I'm going to show you some serious oh. rapping. I come from Jamaica. Oh. And then we've done bunnies. When I do my thing, the crowd go banana. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs>